you did bring up Bardo, which is on the short list for best international feature this year. And there was a bunch of uh, smaller categories, more technical categories that came out with the short list for the Oscars. And I think this is a transition to one of the most heartbreaking things that I saw on social media this week. They had a short list for best original score for the Oscars. And there was one movie that we, I think, both have in our top five, right, for 2022 that we thought was a shoe in for this category. The Batman does not make the short list for best original s- score. It is on the short list for best visual design and best costume design. We knew that was coming ever since we saw the first uh, stills of Oswald Cobblepot played by Colin Farrell, one of the best years from an actor in 2022. So those two were guaranteed, but we also thought score was going to as well. What are your reactions having the Batman snubbed from the short list, not even from being nominated? The answer is justice. We need justice. Injustice. This. Injustice. We need, yeah, we need justice. This is injustice. This is Giacchino robbed. This is ridiculous. How the best score of the year is even on the short list, let alone nominated, on the short list to be nominated for the Oscars. We need justice. And the Batman, yes, the costume design, visual effects, that had to be in. But on the same level was the score, in my opinion. I, I, I it, it was a part of the movie. And in my opinion, the best comic book movie of 2022. Yes, it's it's ridiculous. It's a sh- it's 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 shameful. It's shameful. But you can't be that surprised that the Oscars pulled this off because the Academy, even though it is changing every every year to more progressive, it's still the same old Academy at the end of the day. So it, we could talk how we want. How yeah, like. Avatar a nominated in 09 blockbuster. Then we had like Black Panther nominated and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, they don't like comic book movies still. We're still going to have to live with this. This this is a crime for a number of reasons. But the main one is something that you hinted at in your soliloquy right there. The Oscars has expanded its membership. It's much more international. Okay, It's much more diverse. Right, It's not just a bunch of old white guys voting on their favorite movies and what traditional Hollywood should look like. But they're grading the Batman, I can tell, just from the short list, like every other superhero movie that's ever existed. And it's not that. It's not. It's not a classic MCU movie. It's not a Wakanda forever. It's not a multiverse of madness. Yet it's being kind of stereotyped into the traditional categories in recent history for MC, for superhero movies, visual effects, costume design. People forget costume design. Suicide Squad won an Oscar. Jesus. But the Batman, it ha- it's more than just a superhero movie. It's gra- way more grounded than anything we've seen in recent memory, right? It feels supremely real, and I don't think it deserves the same type of grading or, I guess, um, assessment or evaluation as mcu cgi heavy movies the practicality of the batman i think is special right the performances in the batman were better than any other superhero movie i saw this year right i know people have talked about um ramandra queen ramandra getting nominated angela bassett for wakanda forever but that seems like a weak category this is a weak category potentially for let's say best actor does pattinson right he would get a nomination i know that one's a long shot right i get it i know that was a prediction i had if you're a returning listener but it seems like he never really had a shot because they're grading it like every other superhero movie so i'm just wondering when is there going to be a line that's drawn that this is different than that you know where there has we, it's like it's like Black Adam felt like an MCU movie. Treat it like an MCU movie. The Batman, if you watch that movie, does not feel like other franchise IP that we've had in the last ten years. It's different. They got to grade it differently, right? We need like the Batman t- two to just be like a cinematic masterpiece. We need like a performance out of Robert Pattinson. We need just a plot and vision that we haven't seen before. And not seen before, like from any, like in movies. Like, I, I, we need something like just spectacular. Like ba- Black Panther nominated because just like the cultural influence that it had, the impact. We need something like that to happen for like the bat for a comic book movie, but like the actual movie being good, like great. You know, like The Dark Knight, that kind of like 
showed like the academy like oh we kind of messed up there and that's why like kind of opened the door for a potential like people talking about in the future like endgame trying to get nominated or spider-man no way home trying to get nominated because like you look at back to the dark knight but those two movies just in a whole aren't masterpieces like the dark knight we need another dark knight batman too we need another dark knight to happen where the academy is like all right we we messed up that time in 2008 2009 we can't mess up this time because this movie right. is of equal par. So that's what we need. But how many Dark Knights are you going to get? You know, like that's just not possible. And mm -hmm. it's so hard. So until that happens, which I don't know when, I, I think it's going to be the same. And it's not like the Batman. It's not like a billion dollar movie. It made, I think, around 750, 750 million at the box office, closer towards 800 probably. Right. And it's just not in the same vein. But yet the Academy is just allergic to superhero movies they just are unless you're heath ledger unless you're logan right and logan like best adapted screenplay that was huge and that felt like a step forward but when a movie like the batman is made it feels like it's in that same vein where it's more like it's made by an auteur it feels much more like cinematic it feels real yet it doesn't seem like we've made any ground because it seems like if you were going to nominate a superhero movie in a couple other categories other than the technical ones that we classically see like best original score that's an easy one that we can kind of say hey we look at this as a legitimate movie you know what i mean score yeah, is one of those like think about it this way like well when we did our that batman month long prep like in march for that movie like we were saying we had like movies to, to watch before seeing the batman and like matt reeves was talking about movies he was looking at while for making the batman and like seven Look at that at 95 Oscars that was nominated for two awards, no core awards, you know? So like it can't and like prisoners in 2013 movie, 2014 Oscars, like didn't get recognized at all at the Oscars. Um, those type of movies, just like crime thrillers like that, just don't really get recognized either. So yeah, it's, just... it, it's, it's really tough to like get recognized for a movie that's so good at its craft and that everyone loves you know, that genre, that crime thriller, psychological thriller, comic book. But at the end of the day, like you need to do something different. And like the Dark Knight, that's why the like, Dark Knight, like set in the organized crime factor and then a performance by Heath Ledger. That should have been enough for like a best picture nom. Instead, just the they, they acknowledge the performance and not the movie itself, which they won't do again if there's another Dark Knight. They will acknowledge it. But we just need that again. The Batman also, it pays tribute to older cinema right like hitchcock movies fincher movies like it, it's clearly drawing inspiration it's not like an mcu movie that goes upon the same temple that has been designed since 2008 or since a large scale post 2012 post avengers right it has something that is different from the hollywood genre and was successful so reward it just like logan did something different and was rewarded and it was an awesome movie you know i'm just a little critical in that regard